Hello guys, welcome back. Today we are going to make, uh, we are going to cut and store the cake. You guys are watching me uh, making this Sylvia Korka, the Swedish famous fika, cook, uh, fika cakes. So it has been cooled down. So this is how it looks like after it has been cooled down. The grassy is slightly uh, hard, not very hard, but it's supposed to be slightly soft. So you want to cut them and store them. So I'm going to show you how I do it uh, as my own style. You may have a different uh, way of doing this, but this to me I find is the most effective way. So what do you need, right? You need this cutter. Uh, you probably need a uh, cheese. No, this is not a cheese. This is a pizza slicer. But not a pizza slicer. This is actually a pastry slicer. But if you have a pizza slicer, it would be better. Because I don't have it at my job. So I'm going to find one and, and bring one and put it here at my job. So we're going to be eating this uh, in a few weeks. So if you're looking for a tips like um, how to store this and keep this for a long time, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. All right. So usually there is glassy on the the glazing is on the side. It always flow to the side. So usually what I do is that I take this. Uh, what do you call that? This. I'm going to remove some of the edges here. So I use this and then I just like lift this up a little bit and then all the sides. Sometimes it's really difficult at the side, especially when the grassy already fall out to the side. So I'm going to just try my best, yeah. So this is, I do this just in case we, it's difficult to flip them. So you want to make sure that uh, they are not stick to the side. So it's easier for you to uh, flip it out later. I'm going to remove all this. This is so too much grassy on the side. So, so now how to cut them evenly, right? You want to make sure that uh, if you have a... I think I saw that at Amazon, they have this thing that you can cut all at one time. That is really for professional baker. I'm not one, but I hope I can be one in the future. Uh, so what I do is that I use my eyes, right? My eyes is my ruler. So I use this to mark my own... Uh, how big I want this cake and then I will see okay where I need to adjust like I know okay this one is a bit to the corner and then to the corner usually I have a little bit extra I used to cut the corner away before but I think the corner actually is the best part I don't know whether you agree with me agree put in a comment uh, and also I feel like it's much nicer, especially when the grassy already fall to the side and it just am so delicious. So I usually use my eyes to mark and then I see, okay, approximately like that, yeah. And then you have to make sure you, your eyes is straight, so if you've got cross eyes, then you're gone, you cannot cut this one if you have a cross eyes. So you really have to use your imagination just mark it first you don't have to cut them yet you just mark it and see whether or not you are satisfied with the portion okay then you turn to this side and I really got five pieces here. So since this is going to be a square, I'm going to decide, okay, now I'm going to cut like this. Two, three, I think this is very unfair. One, two, three, 
for okay you see here it comes to this end it's too small right so what i do i always start with the side first from the side you work inwards here i think this is fair like this no it's like this i think it's better like this okay and then you can always you know see now okay if this is square this is not like a square so you make it like a square rectangular okay this is more rectangular okay i think i'm quite satisfied with this portion right so now you continue to do this until you are fully satisfied with the portion okay now i'm satisfied i think it's very fair and square now so what to do next i use this one i hope i have a pizza cutter but this i think i hope it will work i tried to use the knife earlier on hi rebecca oh what did you say rebecca i have to the question is so fast uh but not everyone like it oh okay yeah it's it's true not everyone like it but I like it. I always choose the corner. <laughs> so I think this 50-50 is better than the knife. You see, if I use the knife, I think the knife is slightly better. It's much cleaner, but then you have to like clean the knife. So it will be better if it is, um, you can see here, the edges, it's not as clean as this one, yeah? So, of course, a knife is better. But if they say they're stuck under the side, you have to clean it. But now it's not so dirty, so I'm going to just continue to cut them. I agree with you. Some people doesn't like the side. I think my my brother he always throw away the side uh, depending on what kind of cake you know because if a cake is like this for example usually the side are much nicer of course everybody is so different so you see now i got this edges i just remove and then i continue this part is not so pretty and then i just continue to cut It will be better if the if this cake is uh, slightly frozen. It's much easier. Uh, with this kind of glaze, uh, gracile we call this, uh, it's better to be frozen. So you get this really, really nice clean cut. You see it comes up again. Make sure the knife run smoothly. Right, next one. It's kind of difficult to cut when you know the grassy is not so hard. Just run this. It will be better, I think, with a pizza cutter, and it will be better if it is like. Sorry, I can't read your comment. Can I, can you, I let me see if I can repeat them. Not too easy for you to cut. Aha, put a flour. Oh, no, you, you can't put the flour because I understand what you mean. Just put the flour. Uh, some professional uh, bakery, they do that. Uh, I find that if you put a flour, well, we can try, you know, we never know. Okay, let's try it. But then flour is not cooked, my dear, unless it's uh, powdered sugar. Let me try powdered sugar. Flour sugar. 
Let's try the flour sugar. Yeah? Let's see if I can find like a like a long plate. Let's see this person's suggestion. All right, if it is a worker working for flour. You see, I'm learning things too from you guys. Oh. Okay, let's try. I can put it a bit on the knife. Yeah, I'll try. I'm trying it and seeing what happens. Yeah. I just hope that it's not so sweet. A stupid idea actually put the deck I put the flour I'm, I'm using flour sugar don't use the plain flour and let's try this again yeah I think it works better are you a baker I'm so glad that you are here <laughs> to help me out so this is what I mean by creating a community of people helping each other out and also you know why I wanted to do this kind of live streaming, uh, like uh, teaching people how to cook, is we get a chance to know each other and communicate. And uh, because I am doing this alone, so it's very nice to have you guys here. Okay, I'm going to remove this. A very very good idea give you a thumbs up uh. <laughs> and uh, thank you for your tips uh, how do I turn this out usually I like to put a paper on top like this and then I just flip it inside upside down I put this paper on top and then I just flip them Let's see if you put this angle. I think it's better, right? To see them. But before I do that, let me just get my container. This is a container that I put uh, when I freeze it. So this is very, very good. It comes with a, a lock. Not a lock, but a cover like this. So you can freeze them in the freezer. If you want to cover the hole, you can do that too. But a bit of hole is quite good. So, what do you say just now? Let me just see if I can read your comment. I'm not a baker. I used to work in the f &B. Oh, that's a good tip. Thank you. I'm so glad that you are here. You are so, so clever. <laughs> okay, let's flip this. Oh, maybe I feel that it is not cut inside to me yet. Let's try this again. Sometimes it gets stuck on the side and you feel actually you could cut them. Uh, you could, you see, it's like it's kind of sticking at the side here, especially here. So now let's try this again. I think this has to be a community, woman helping woman. I feel so sorry for women who are, uh, you know, I was really, really sad the other day. I saw some women in Singapore. I, you love eating. <laughs> And you know they was broke. I mean they have um, co economy problem, and the boy, their boyfriend or their husband were like asshole. Um, didn't take care of them financially. So for me, I also hope that you know to give people tips of, about how to cook. 
can maybe help them to create an interest so that they can get a job selling food did you know by by the way did you know that you can sell uh, baking stuff at Facebook I have a friend who did that. Uh, and um, and she's now making a very good living by just selling her cake on Facebook uh, she didn't have a job uh, her husband is not giving her enough money and she's a stay-at-home mom so I suggested to her that you know maybe I um, I would like to help other women too to to find their way out because she was she was she couldn't she didn't even have a Facebook account from the beginning so I tips her and I told her there's this way where you could actually make a living by just selling to people online so now let's just concentrate on this for a while so I put them like this see that's my Sylvia Kaka let me just read some comment here. Hey, what you are doing? The comment is disappearing all the time. I love cooking. I love baking also. In fact, to be honest with you, I am not a good baker. I'm more like a a person who like to cook more than to bake but I started to love baking because I just feel like it's so fun and the bad thing is that you know you can get fat baking and my job you know we have to test the food that we make so it's kind of uh, difficult to lose weight oh how you like to eat <laughs> By the way, you guys out there, uh, I would love to hear from you. What do you think about like this kind of video? You know, I'm doing at my work. Uh, I told my boss, you know, that my purpose is to like share some ideas. Like, women can make this at home during your free time and earn income, an extra income for yourself. And I think it's really, really important that we women we can. Um, De don't have to depend on anybody we can make cakes and we can sell them and what she did with this my friend is that uh, she didn't have an account and then she came to my place and I told her I said oh you really love my food thank you and I said um you know you you should because she's really good in baking and baking is okay food I'm not so sure maybe you might end up in trouble you know if you are having like a food selling to people because people can die from your cooking you know if you don't cook the food right people can get food poisoning but baking I think is much safer right now I really have one layer so I would like to put another layer on top so you can put the uh, for me, I like it's convenient with this one, so I just hold them to separate the the layers. Yeah, and then I continue to layer them. Before before that, uh, she didn't know anything about Facebook, and I spent the whole afternoon. I taught her how to do that, and now she's like a profession professional. Uh, beauty, Facebook user because nowadays she's selling cakes all the time so I think that is a really good way to earn an extra income if you guys are interested in baking why not people want home bake you know in Sweden people don't have the time to bake especially during the summer so she has a lot of orders from people who are old people they like home bake but they just don't have the energy or the time to bake it so 
So let me just push this to the side. So I hope it can be inspiring. Uh, what is my education? My education, uh, I actually studied marketing, retail, uh, manager program. So I train people how to sell. I'm not a good salesperson myself, but I train people how to sell. Can you believe it? But I think I know how it works, uh, how the selling process works. But really, talking about selling, I don't think so. I'm a very good, straight, sweet talker. But I am a, a person who talks to you about facts. I don't want to overpromise you, but because it's to protect myself, why should I do that when you know I cannot deliver what I what I offer, right? So now put this into the container. Let me just wash my hand and I'm gonna show you what I did with the bread, the one that I showed you earlier on. Yeah. Let me wash my hand and I'll go to the hello. <laughs> Thumbs up. Let's see. Okay, guys, this is very dark. Let me on some lights here. So this, this is the bread that I made earlier. And I think this can be a hit for the new Swedish Fika trend. So what I do is that I you just have to break them up like this. Let me just take both my hands. Or maybe you get a knife. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to just flip the camera so you can see. What am I doing here? Okay, so let's see here. Oh, it's still hot. So what you do is that uh, you take up the bread and then you just break them we call that bread bread means uh, you, you break the bread <laughs> and then one more piece I think it's easier with a knife Try this way. So I'm still developing this recipe. This is supposed to be like a layered bread. So instead of the round cinnamon bun, so you have them. I think this way is much moist, much more moister, and it looks great too. Let's cut the center here. See if the interfacing is nice. So if possible, I think I will probably do a live streaming on this. Look at that. And I tell you, if you have an app that has a, that has a feature where you could smell this, I tell you guys, this is going to be a big hit. You're watching my video every day. Oh, good. Thank you. I'm so glad that you do that. So, this is one big hit. But shh, don't tell people. It's very, very soft. Okay. And I'm developing this recipe. And I think this is going to be a really popular fika, new Fika in Sweden. You see, I'm not a sweet, but I think sometimes we have to use our imagination. This is not cinnamon. This is actually mm, mm, so good. My goodness, it's so good. Let me take one piece out. This is actually chocolate and cinnamon, and with butter. 
to separate the layers and it's really 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 soft as you can see here it's really really soft right so i want to eat this but you know i have a curry just now a chicken pineapple curry the one that i made yesterday looks like red bean no it's not red bean it's actually chocolate i mix chocolate with cinnamon uh, and then I with butter no sugar a uh, little bit of uh, sugar yeah I put sugar uh, so I'm still working on the recipes and I'm testing this if this is really good I'm going to do a live streaming on this all right let me know in the comment if you want to do this together with me and I'm going to do a live streaming and show you how to do this all right send a comment below so that i know you are watching and you want to learn this so i think this is going to be great i'm going to save my stomach from now because i'm really really ah oh, yeah i'm really full now but uh, the curry was really nice so not bad huh okay now i have to go back to work so that i can go home <laughs> i have to cut this up and then i have to freeze it and then I have to pack everything. I still have two more, three more, in fact. Let me just show you in the refrigerator. One here. And then I have one more here. And what is this? Oh, this is the one that I cut early on. So usually I put them in the fridge. But later I'm going to transfer all of them into the freezer. And this is my recipes development for today. The new millennium Swedish cinnamon bun. Now, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please give a thumbs up. And I would like to hear from you in the comment. If you are new subscriber and you have su subscribed to my channel, I would like to see the subscribe, all right? just type subscribed then i know and then i'm gonna give you a special message these days i have been receiving so many subscriber and i have no idea why and how my my video has become youtube most recommended and i'm shocked because um, because youtube have, has promoted one of my very <sighs> bad video <laughs> you have to go and check out my playlist okay i did one i did two uh garlic water all right check the one on the later stage and that became a mini viral video and i'm shocked the amount of people watching it every day even though it sucks so I, it just this really makes me think you know how come how come i'm doing so many nice wonderful video and nobody is watching and how come when i do this the worst video and everybody is watching and everybody is like oh, commenting and giving me a lot of very negative comment i think that is why uh i will become better because from all those comments then i will say oh okay people don't like me not talking people prefer me to talk so i speak more and maybe i should show my face more often and if you like to see my face more often please give me the date back uh -huh. okay let me just read this comment before i go off yeah uh, let's see how do i do that back day video is back day hmm, I, I have no idea what you mean by that but anyway uh let me know okay in the comment write in the comment exactly so that i understand fully your question and i'll try to that. all right so guys see you if you want to know the product that i'm using in my um, videos uh usually i put the link to the featured product in my video description so go and check that out and if you like to support this channel I would love you to be my patron too. Uh, all you need to do is go to the video description that is a Patreon website where you could support my channel. 
from as low as one dollar per month yeah so have a nice day guys bye bye